Watch my star, you can see it now flex. Flew off to the clouds like a jet. Till I'm done, I'ma stay on their yet. stuff at. We got the mids and highs. I'm not sure if we're gonna get to the mids and highs today or not, but we definitely gotta get the tunes working. So let's get started and see where we end up. Got the dash kit right here. All right, we got all this ready. The only thing we're missing is the Jaybird. He'll be here any minute. Let's go. Let's wait for him. So getting a hold of the Jaybird isn't that easy. He has a job. He works all week, like six days a week now. So getting his car over here and finding a good time for both of us where we could get this done isn't that easy. But little by little, we're going to make this happen. So first thing we need to do, though, is get him working. Get some sounds coming out of his dashboard. His factory deck doesn't even work. this thing playing hey bring that thing right into the shop man into the shop pull it right in there man yeah All right, so like I explained in the video before this, factory deck does not work anymore. Malfunctioning, all kinds of shit happening. So we know we're gonna put some beat in this thing. One day at a time though. First thing we wanna do is just have it all working, have it playing, upgrade them to something real nice. Hey Jaybird, are you ready to hear some tunes or what? <laughs> yeah. I guess the first thing is to start pulling this stuff out of the box, get it on the table, see what I'm up against. I don't do this every day for a living, so I can't do this with my eyes closed yet. I sort of still have to pay attention to what I'm doing. So let's see what's in here. Dude, I can't even. Oh my god, I need to open this thing up. What about to use that damn razor knife? That's not how we do it here. The best part is I may not even need. Is it even tape shut? But I can't even open the box. I have no business doing this. Here we go. There we go. We good. Well, it should look good with that big fast stereo, so we'll find out. It's all digital. This thing ain't no cheap piece of crap. So hopefully it works as good as uh, it's supposed to. We got some other stuff in here. A little pocket thing. Got a little wire harness. Some instructions which I'll probably have to read. This is not a fresh unboxing. We already unboxed it once in the last video. So it's all pretty much right here though. Because they, they do have a kit that's for the bottom pockets. But if that top radio is malfunctioning, then you just got a big malfunctioning piece of crap in your dash. And then a second stereo. It's like putting a TV on top of your TV back in the day. Yeah. Remember when the old TV used to go out and you put a TV on top of the old one? You can't do that. So. Here we go, look at this. It's gonna look good in there. I believe we're gonna need these. Yeah. 
Got this little one right here we gotta put in. A tiny guy. Extra little clip. All right, this thing looks super nice. Now I gotta go inside, pull the dash apart, do a couple little mods, I guess. I gotta do a little bit of cutting, do a little bit of wire splicing. Should be able to at least get some sound. Up a couple of these. I'm not sure which one I'll need. I haven't done this dash yet. Where do we even start with this thing, man? Okay. Well. more down here okay. I believe this pockets just gonna pop out now That's how I can get to those bottom ones. I was trying to figure out how I was going to get to those. There you have it right there. Perfect. It's actually going to be kind of a nice little kit. Now that I see what's going on. Ready for the big transformation, Jaybird? Yep. Let's see. This whole thing should come out now. Oh, 
with that. Watch it start working again. It looks like it is doing something different. <laughs> is there another screw here? I see nothing. Hung up on something. This is a clip. I think that shit's coming out anyways. My steak knife. All right, I guess I got to use the right tool. Dang, I was trying to be clever. Then broke my steak knife. Dang, I'm gonna miss that thing. Still got to hook the plugs up. We gotta go get some RCAs first. But let's just see how this thing lines up because those, those clips should hit right there. Bam. Bam, Jaybird. Bird. Chill about that, Birdie Bird. I'll we'll snap that in the rest of the way later, but. Woo! I think this thing tilts too. You can adjust the tilt on it when you're driving. Cool. Over the fence like home runs. They owe us because we own one. Suplex the rest flex. Got great and that long gun. Fresh to death, let the rest of rest. She lock eyes, she gon' come. Whack chicks get stiff, arm like be smoked on long runs. I'm a thrash artist, I splash hardest on the chicks list. I'm the baddest target. They hate us, I'm a town martyr. Shining star slash engine starter. Finesse shit, but I slam harder. No big ten, but we buck eyes. Got wolf rings like Ann Arbor. Them wild cats got hawk eyes. Killing the shit, dropping like moving the brick. These lanes ain't shooting for shit, cause you lose when you miss. You move on the bitch, cruise and boom on the sticks. Birthday's a man, but bloom to a bitch. Fumble a fifth and burn in a zip. See that it's money and call for a bliss. Can't be a king if you talk like a bitch. On my feet as a legend, I swear this is a blessing. Went to sleep with a goddess. Woke up as a legend, name respected like a legend. City veteran like a legend, name ring in their head. Make them hate. We got a little module here to allow video uh, when driving off road. We'll tuck that up in there. In case you didn't notice what that was earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this thing super clean. I don't know if it's gonna get hot or not because it does have a remote wire hooked up to it so I'm not gonna totally bury it. I'll leave it sticking out a little bit. I don't do this for a living so I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. We'll just not take our chances with it. We got a remote wire to the future amplifiers. We got this little plug that plugs into the back of the Metro kit. This plugs into the car. We should have sounds right now. What you think, Jaybird? Is that pretty or what? Yeah, it looks good. I mean, from what it was five minutes ago. 
Let's plug it in. Oh, amps and bass is coming, trust me. But right now we're just prepping for future. <laughs> this wire is like 30 feet long. Let's just see if these climate controls even work. Oh shoot, actually looks like it's working pretty good. Nice. Oh look at that, bam. You got high. Cold. Is there two different zones in this car? No. That's giving you two zones for some reason. Well, who knows what that one does, but unless I got your defroster here. Oh, what is that? Back window or something? Yeah. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's changing it to up there. Off. Damn. Right. Yeah? Yeah. You like that or what? Yeah. Cool. See if it works, man. Do we got power? You think we're gonna have power? Hope yeah. it. I hope so. There we go. This thing needs to be programmed. Let's go get some RCAs, man. All right, man. Had to pull the Lex out to get the Honda in. Hope she's okay. We're gonna head out to Arden Audio and get some RCAs. Cause, like I said. It ain't about the brand, it's whether or not you have it when I need it. And if you got it when I need it, that's where I'm going. Got the bird with me, man, he's getting upgraded today. We had a little delay in game, we gotta run over and get those, but it's a smart thing to do. It's definitely the smart thing to do, run the RCAs and run the remote wire and whatever else you gotta run now. Because when it's time to upgrade everything else and hook up a couple amps, I don't wanna pull the whole dash apart. I want that chapter of my life to be over. So I'm gonna hook up the RCAs, I'm gonna fold them up behind the center console so I can get to them with my little paws. And when it's time, boom, they'll be there. So let's head over to Arden Audio. Let's pick out some RCA, some 15, 16, 20 footers, 18s, whatever the hell works. Where's my damn keys at? Oh, there we go. All right. Got the F-250. This thing's about ready to get worked on too, but the bird comes first. <laughs> Yeah, Arden Audio. You know, Dia's gonna take good care of us right here. Tell you what. Alright. That's good. Alright, we got the RCAs. No big deal. Went in and grabbed them. Got these sky high ones. Here we are back at the shop. Got these nice RCAs right here. They should work perfect. We gotta plug this into the back of the head unit. Got this GPS thing that needs to be hooked up. Got the hands free for the phone. And then this thing will be done.
careful. This little loop the loop right here. That'll work. Pull it down just a little bit more. Everything looks good. A couple more little panels and you're done, man. Perfect, done. All right, that's pretty much a wrap. We got the head unit hooked up. We got the dash kit all done. We got the AC controls and everything in there. But um, we didn't really have time to do the doors just yet. Those, those should be very hard, so that'll be next. I just wanted to make sure that he had a head unit and he had his stuff actually playing for now. The RCAs and everything, they're on the side. The remote wire, it's tucked down on the side too, ready to go. So basically, we got the hard part done. But for right now, let's hop in there and see what this thing looks like compared to what it did look like. All right, Jaybird, phase number one is done. We got the thing working, I think. And this is what you had before? Yeah. That's your old shit right there, man. <laughs> but you should hop in and take a look at what she looks like now. I got some keys right here for you. Oh, man, look at that. Yeah. Good. All right, what we got here? New Pioneer Double Din. We got the dash kit. Looks like it's working. All right, yeah. Got high, low. Defroster. It's all working. I think we could change that to make it match the red up there too. Yeah. All right, I know this don't have nothing to do with the new deck, but it's still pretty cool because this is part of the ordeal. So we're gonna hold this mode button down until it starts blinking. I think. There we go. Now we're gonna. This side, this side. Well, this side, they all they all do something. Look, look, look at that changing right color. Now. Oh, that's tight. Look, that's the factory green right there. Let's let's do. Uh, we're gonna go red because we want it to match. Okay, yeah, that's blue. Oh, that's really blue. There we go. Now we're getting to the reds. Oh, did we pass the red? Not right there. Right there. There we go. Oh yeah. That's pretty tight. This is a nice little kit, man. Look at that. There we go. All right, I think you should just leave it alone. I think it'll stay. I mean, you can put it whatever color you want later, but I mean, that matches the red on the dash over there on your gauge cluster. So shoot, that's yeah. pretty tight. It all works good too. And it all looks good. Look how nice that looks in there, man. All right, well go ahead, man. Let's play something. Some beats yeah. that looks just glorious in there, man. The good die young. Should I can only foul? Now, since she lost a child, she couldn't even be a body without falling now. Yeah. Telling me funny shit, I ain't know. All right, Jaybird, you're out of here, man. We're done. Yeah, yeah. Looking out, man. Man, shit, dude. Drive that around, see how it sounds, learn how to use the settings, and I'll start planning out your amps. Yeah. I'll start planning out your subwoofers. And we'll run some wire, man, and we'll have some beat before you know it. Man, the hard part is done. This is good right here. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah.
All right, Jaybird, your ride has not been pimped, but it is a lot better than it was before we started. Thank you. You like that shit or what? Yep. All right, man, look at that. Thank what you. a difference. Hell yeah, hella nice, man. All right, man, you're out of here, dude. Uh, yeah, thank you. We'll pick up where we left off another time real soon. Yeah. Feel good shit, man. One last thing before you go, man. The whole reason I chose this one for you is because it has a removable face. So go ahead and pop that face off. Let's see. Just like that. Let me see that thing. There you go. Removable face double din. Pop it back on there. There you go. Back in business. I mean, it's not slapping heck of hard. Turn that shit up. It ain't slapping hard or anything yet, but he had nothing when he got here. Factory deck wasn't even making a peep. So now the bird is dialed in and good to go. Mids and highs, base next. All right, that's all finished. And uh, I'll be the first one to tell you that was just a deck. That was a deck install, nothing too wild. There's probably lots of real installers that install for a living that are like, I could have done that in 10 minutes. Well, honestly, that was my first time doing that car with that kit. If I had the exact same car, the exact same head unit, everything was exactly the same, and another one rolled in here right now, I could have it done in about half an hour, no problem. But the thing is, until you've pulled those dash parts apart before, you don't know what you're getting into. And honestly, it's kind of crazy. I got to admit it. When I go to hook the beat up, like the real hard stuff, power wires, subwoofers, all that other stuff that comes along, door panels, everything, I'm not really too worried about that stuff. It's always these factory head units that always scare me because you just don't know what's involved. The dashes are so tight, everything is so precise, and one little clip can mean that dash isn't going back together right. So we got through it, everything's good, I'm happy. We're gonna do the door panels next. I'm gonna run some power wire, we'll get them a little bit of base going. I also got that F-250 that I wanna do too. So time is my enemy. I wish I had more of it, but I am gonna do a lot of stuff, so stay tuned. Watch what we do, it should be fun. I'm out, thanks for watching.